Good morning, everybody. It's Kay Kalta. I don't have coffee this morning. I was scrambling to get ready for this video, so <laughs> I want coffee. So as soon as I get done with this video, I'll go make myself a cup of coffee. Hello, hello. Oh, yes, we have a couple of watchers. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Sherry. You're already sharing. That's a good thing because the giveaway, when I, when I do the drawing for this card, next week on, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, something like that, you will get the very, very pretty, uh, a half pack of the Perennial Essence Floral Centers, which are not carrying over into the new catalog. I looked and looked for them, and I couldn't find them. Um... Which is sad because they're so beautiful. And this particular bundle, the Floral Essence Bundle, is carrying over, but not the cute little centers that coordinate with it. Oh, yes, you are already sharing. Thank you so much. Jean has her coffee. As I mentioned, Jean, I do not. Very sad day. <laughs> I was just scrambling. Oh, you know what? I was, I was scrambling so much, I left some stuff on the other side of the room. I'll go grab it. I make these cards up, you know, whenever I'm having a, like a crafty weekend or a crafty day, I will make up a bunch of cards in advance to share on a Facebook Live for the future. And today I went and grabbed this card and I thought, oh, perfect day to do this card. And then as I was preparing it for the, for the video, you know how I always grab one of these designer series paper packs. It's like my sampler pack to show uh, everybody, you know, what the paper looks like. Well, guess what I had to do today? I had to take my pretty little designer series paper pack and cut it. Cut it all down to make the cards today because I was literally out. Not even a scrap left of this paper um, that was in my bin that I use when I'm making cards. So my, my pretty little sampler pack is just down to these few little strips. Um, isn't that terrible? I couldn't even believe it. This is such a beautiful paper pack. I should just double check. It is the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And it's all part of this wonderful Perennial Essence product suite that you can find in our annual catalog. Now, of course, the suites are discontinued and the bundles, like this particular bundle, will be broken up. And so when you order this starting June 3rd or 4th, whatever it is when the new catalog goes live, you won't be able to get the bundle price. And then I just jumped on to Stampin' Up! and found out that the bundle right now is on back order. Not because of the punch, which is usually the case. It's on back order because the stamp set is delayed for some reason. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have it back fairly quickly. I noticed there were quite a few stamp sets right now that are delayed. I think people are quickly uh, jumping online and grabbing all of their, their favorite stamp sets. Um, so I think that's what's happening. Good morning. Oh, you guys are all so good to me. Thank you. Well, I have some cards to share. I got this card in the mail. How many of you remember doing stencils with your with your stamping? Now, Stampin' Up! even has some stencils. I don't even know if I bought them because I'm not that big of a stencil person. Um, and I don't really use the shimmer paint. And, or not, not shimmer paint. What was it? It's like that embossing paste, I think. I mean, that's just way too, that's just way too much work for me. So, I mean, I don't even have that stuff, uh, which is why I've never really bothered with the stencils. However, I have a Downline member, and she must have pulled this out of her, um, I don't know, one of her bins, because we're all sending cards like crazy these days, trying to brighten and give sunshine to people. And so sometimes we have to delve into our uh, inspiration bins, and I think she did that. I am going to grab a post-it note here. Oh, provided I have one, because I want to show you... Well, what the what the heck? I don't even have post-it notes. I am all a mess today. Um, well, let me cover up her address. So that you guys can see how beautiful this the envelope is gives you just a hint of what's going to be inside the card 
So this is from my downline member, Cindy Standall, and it's very, very neat. I love the way the envelope was decorated. And then the other thing she did that you may not have noticed on first glance at the envelope is she took her sponge dauber and she daubed all the way around the edges to get about a little bit of a pink edge all the way around that envelope, which I just thought was so clever. And then the, the card is decorated like this. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, I just love it. It makes me want to use stencils. I mean, gosh, how beautiful is that? So thank you so much to Cindy Standle for sending me this really, really pretty card. I really enjoyed it. And it will go on display in my studio. And then I got another card, this one from a customer. This, uh, she was dropping some money off for me because she had placed a very good sized order uh, to get some of the retiring products. So I'm just fixing the ribbon a little bit, it came loose. So I wanna share this with you because it uses one of my wonderfully favorite stamp sets. Of course, I can't remember the name of it. It's retired, but I, I will keep that one forever. I have it up at the cabin. Uh, but it is beautiful, and I'm actually not sure. I don't think it was a host set. I think it was actually part of our regular catalog, but I could be wrong. Um, but I want to show it to you because it's just a perfect spring card, and it's so pretty. So thank you, Tila Wetterling, for this absolutely gorgeous card. I mean, tulips. I have to run outside every evening before we turn in for the night and put... Uh, like empty flower pots over the tops of my tulips and daffodils because the deer eat them if I don't do that because they come way up right up to the house in the evenings or at you know in the in the middle of the night so I'm always out there putting putting these empty pots over the top of my daffodils and tulips but um what a beautiful card it's just so pretty and then she used those real and then these are retiring these really fancy angelets here, that's, that's going away. So if you haven't gotten that and you really wanted it, be sure to get it. All right, so let me carry on here. These are the cards we're going to make. They're so pretty. You guys are going to love them. So let me flip the camera down and we'll get started making them. They're really super easy and it's not going to take that long. Of course, I say that and then, you know, it takes a long time anyway. So we'll just see what happens here. So let me flip this down. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead here. This is the bundle we're using. And so it is the, the really pretty flower builder. So you'll need to punch your flowers two times in order to build a flower with six petals. Oh, we've got a lot of glare today. I don't know why that is. Maybe I need to push this in so you can see it. But anyway, it's a three-petal a three-petal flower, um, so I like to punch two. And then here is the stamp set, which I which I really love. I've used it um, at some of my larger uh, events that I do. And let's go ahead and make these beautiful cards. So here again is a picture of one of the cards, and every single piece of paper in this. Perennial Essence Designer Series Paper Pack. Let me just show you what they look like. Just the little swag that I, just the little teeny bits that I have here because I had to cut my sampler pack in <laughs> into pieces to make these cards today. And I made, a, I'm going to make all of these because it's so easy to make, but I'll just do two for you. Um, and then, of course, I started out with one of my favorite colors, which is Balmy Blue. Let me go ahead and uh, just make sure these are pressed down. So we have a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock scored at five and a half. So basically it's a full size piece of cardstock scored in half and then cut in half. And you have your card base. And wow, what did I do here? I got messy on here, but don't worry, it'll be covered up. So we don't have to worry about that. The next thing you're going to do is take the 
country floral embossing folder and take two more panels of the balmy blue cut them at four by five and a quarter and run them through your embossing machine with the country floral embossing folder this is a 3d folder so you'll need uh you'll need to have that to recreate this card exactly and that's a it's an embossing folder that is that is being retired if i recall correctly i should you know if i would have had some stuff prepared ahead of time. I could have told you that for sure. But I'm I'm pretty sure this embossing folder is retiring. And it's such a shame because it is absolutely gorgeous as you can as you can see. So then we're we're actually not gonna put these in onto our card just yet because uh, we're gonna actually build up our card onto these panels and then the very last thing pretty much that we do is put this onto the card base. So the next thing you're going to need are two panels uh, of Blackberry Bliss. So we're going to use Blackberry Bliss. Let me bring my light in a little bit. And this is two and three fourths by four inches. And what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my multi-purpose liquid glue here. And I'm going to put glue on these panels because glue works really well. If you're putting something onto an embossed panel, in fact, um, it's my preferred method for gluing onto it or for putting on embossing because glue kind of gets into all those crevices and makes sure that your, your paper stays intact. So we're going to do the same thing here to this one. And we'll just put this down like this. And another nice thing of working with the multi-purpose liquid glue from Stampin' Up! is you've got that little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so those panels are prepped for the moment. Now the next thing we're going to do is do a little stamping. So I'm going to show you what I used here. So again, I have the Blackberry Bliss, and I used our fabulous layering ovals, and I used the very largest of the scalloped ovals. Um, let me grab a piece of scrap paper here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So here are the two ovals that I cut just from scraps of Blackberry Bliss. Again, I use the very largest oval of the layering ovals. These layering ovals are just, just fabulous. I believe you get 15 of them for $35, which is just an incredible steal of a deal. It does sort of look like they're retiring because you see them on the retired list, but they're actually getting a new pick number and they're being slightly um, changed. But don't worry about it; they're still going to be in the catalog. So if you haven't gotten them yet, you you know don't you don't have to be panicked because they will be there as the as the new catalog comes out. The other thing that I'm using is the very largest of the stitched shapes dies. And I cut out two Whisper White panels to layer over the top of those Blackberry Bliss scalloped ovals. Now we're going to do, do our stamping. And I'm just going to stamp them right over the top of these just so you guys can, can see it better, what I'm doing. Well, actually, I don't need to. I don't need to do this because I can just put them on my black panel here and you'll see what I'm doing. So I have my Blackberry Bliss ink pad opened up, ready to go. And then I have All Days Are Beautiful That Begin With You. That's what we're going to stamp with. And you're going to stamp this pretty much as far as you can to the left-hand side of your oval. So I'll just bring this in here. And just set it in there and give it a second for the ink to, to get onto your Whisper White. And there we go. Do the exact same thing to the other one. It's about as easy peasy as you can get. Ta-da, done. Make no mistake, there's no mistake. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do is take our, um, let me bring the scrap in again so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to take these scallops and we're gonna put these guys on top of our scallops. So I'll just do that with a little bit of snail. We'll just set this in here. Just, you know, make sure all the borders are pretty even. 
then don't burnish over the top. You don't want to smear your ink unless you unless that ink is sat around for a while. But I flip it over, burnish it from the back. That gives you a really good hold. Do the same thing again. Now some of you have um, emailed me and asked me, oh wow, okay, I noticed that snail is on the retiring list. Yeah, it is. So if you love, love, love snail, I would I would get it. I would get as much as you want. Um, while they still have it. One of the reasons I love snail is because it's great for Whisper White, very vanilla. Um, it's just really nice for that because it doesn't leave the glue lines behind that our multi-purpose liquid, liquid glue does on those particular papers. There will be new snail-like adhesive. And it's going to come in two different types. One that's going to be very similar to snail. So if you haven't invested heavily in like snail cases, because the refills work so well for these cases, you know, if you haven't got a lot of those cases and you're ready to make a switch, well, then just hold off and wait until the new catalog comes out. Don't worry about getting snail refills. But there's one that's going to be very similar to snail. It's going to work almost exactly like it. So you don't have to worry. And you're going to get a little bit more in the refill. But the refill will also be a little bit more expensive. And then the second type of snail is going to, and it's, I can't remember what the names of it are right now, but the second type of snail-like adhesive that will be coming our way is a plus factor. And for those of you that remember Fast Fuse, it's going to be really, really, really strong like Fast Fuse, but it's not going to tangle up on you like Fast Fuse used to do. Remember when we have to, remember when we had to do the check mark? Honestly, guys, I never mastered that. I never figured it out. I could never use it. Um, and there were all these tips, and I even did a video how to do it, you know, because the one day that I had it figured out. But I never used it because it was just too tough for me. Well, they have they have refigured that, re redid it, and now you don't have to make check marks. You'll just be able to lift up normal as if you were doing anything normal, and it's supposed to be super strong. So I'm anxious to play with those new products. Yay! So anyway, all that is coming down the road for you. Sorry, I got on a tangent, but I did want to kind of tell you what was going on with our adhesives. All right, so now. The next, th so we've got all this ready, and we're now going to um, get to the designer series paper and how to assemble these flowers. So this looks like kind of a kind of a big mess here. So we've got some little punch outs, we've got a little strip, we've got you know all this going on, and it looks like kind of a big mess. But the measurements. If you have a bunch of scraps in the house and just want to use them up, you've got two and a half by four, two and a half by four that you do your punching out of, and then you have a one by four inch strip for your inside panel, and then here are your punch outs. I'll put those over here. All right, so it's all kind of lined up like this. And guess what? I'm going to make this so easy for you. I'm going to show you a new way to cut your paper so that you can make just loads and loads of these cards super, super fast. So let me get my handy dandy little cutter, and you obviously can use any cutter that you want to. But what you're gonna wanna have on hand are a bunch of four by six panels of your you know, pretty designer series paper. As I mentioned, I'm using Perennial Essence DSP. And uh, this is the size that you want. So I'm looking at this and I'm trying to decide now which ones do I want to use for this? So we've got four by six and then another one that's four by six. And this is how you cut it. So I'm just gonna cut both of them together because why not? This, this little mini cutter can handle anything, which was a new demonstrator gift during celebration. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to two and a half and you're gonna make your first cut at two and a half. So that's going to be layered up and then you make your your next cut at one inch so here's your one inch panels and then you're left with a two and a half inch panel again 
So then what I do is I take my, my papers and I just decide what I want where. So I kind of like... Oh yeah, I kind of like this. I'm going to put this one here. And then I like that. So I'm going to put that one there. Then these will be the inside strips. So I'll just set these aside. And then we have over here the pieces that we're going to use to punch out our flowers. So let's go ahead and get this stuff set up first. So we're going to just, I mean, you can use glue or you can use snail. I just grabbed snail, so I'm going to use snail. You're going to set this in right in the middle of that Blackberry Bliss panel that we did. Press it in. Do the same thing over here. And we're going to press that in. So easy, you guys. This is just so easy. Then... Let's go ahead, we'll put these strips aside for a minute because now what we're going to do is our punch out. So we've got our flower pieces here and I wanna punch out some flower pieces. So I'm going to take this punch and of course we're gonna work with it upside down. And I wanna get you know a lot of these pretty flowers in here. So I'm going to do one punch out and then a second punch out. So you can kind of maneuver the punch around to make maximum use of where you want your punch out to be and then we're going to do the same thing with this one just just punch out and then the easiest way to put these flowers together is just take your multi-purpose liquid glue and put a dot in the middle and then just layer your punch out, your coordinating punch out over the top, like that. There we go. So easy and pretty much done. Then give that a second to dry because we want to curl those flowers. So let's go ahead and kind of layer up this card. So we've got our card base. We're just going to take this and glue it down. Again, the reason I'm using glue is because of the fact that it's embossed back here and the glue will give us a little bit better hold. So just layer this in so that all four borders are even. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. Oh, you guys are leaving such nice comments. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are just the bomb. And Philomena says, very little waste. Great tip. Yes, you are right. That is why I had no designer series paper, paper left over. I actually did this card as a top 10 card for my downline back in March for their top 10 in sales. And uh, so you can see I've had this card sitting around for a while. All right, then, anyway, I, ha I loved them so much, I made up a whole bunch extra. It was so fun, because it was just, it was like, once you start making them, it's really, really hard to stop, because <laughs> you just want to keep going. So now what I'm doing is I'm just curling my little flowers upward. So you do that with a bone folder, another reason to have a bone folder. I'm sure you all have one, because I talk about them all the time. So we're just curling that up. And then we're going to take some glue and we're going to set this right on top like this, just, just on, the, on that oval like this. Let me bring that in closer to my head so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Do the same thing to the other one. You guys are all going to be making these cards today. I just know it. And you know, you can use any pattern of paper. You don't have to have the perennial essence. You could use any sentiment on the front. Um, it's just easy. Okay, now where are those little... Here they are. So this will be my giveaway. I'll split a pack of these uh, with, the, with the two people who are my winners next week. 
So here they are. They're, they're perennial essence floral centers. They are, they have sell they they have, um, what you call it? They got adhesive already on them. So you just have to peel off that, that little bit of adhesive. Then of course, cause I have fat fingers. I'm going to take my, take your pick tool, flip that over and I can get it exactly where I want it. Do the same thing with the next one. Don't worry, I have a brand new pack that I'll be splitting. I'm not going to short you guys any. <laughs> I know I just opened this pack, but um, I really like these, so I bought extras of these to keep at the cabin where I take take all of my pretties that I don't want to uh, get rid of after a re retirement list. All right, so there it is. How, how lovely. So now all we have to do... Let's flip these over and add our dimensionals. Don't worry, we st I haven't forgotten about the inside of the card. We will get to that. Just haven't quite got there yet. So then you can take the little peelies off the back. And then the only thing you want to really make sure is if you're making multiples of these cards, you want to make sure you get the correct flower um, associated with the correct designer series paper on the front of the card which I had a couple of cards that I had to um, rearrange because after I, after I had them together, I was like, oh, wait a minute, that, that's not right. So just telling you from experience. All right, so this one is going to go here. And, you know, the, the easiest way to do it is to imagine your oval cut in half, and wherever that halfway point is is where you're going to put, put it on your card. So it's just going to go like this you want it about a half inch up from the bottom here and it's done so there's the front of this one and here's the front of this one so beautiful then what we want to do i'm looking because i'm like did i do this right or not i feel like did I, I think this one should have went over here and this one should have went over there. Oh my gosh, you guys. After I just tell you what not to do, I go and do it. But actually, I think these are similar enough that it's not really a big deal. Honestly, I can't remember. Anywho, we won't worry about it. They're still beautiful. Now we're going to do our inside panels. So let's just take a little bit longer look at this designer series paper and make sure we're getting the right pieces in the right spots it's funny how how these are kind of similar and you just it's just easy to get mixed up all right so now you're going to take this one and put it here i'm just adding it with with snail just because the snail is easy and i've got it right here so you've got your one inch piece on the left side I did goof that up. Oh well. Live video, you know. You get you get me as I am, mistakes and all. Even when I tell you not to make the mistake, then I turn around and make it myself, which is so funny. So typical for me. Okay, so then you're going to take your um, Blackberry Bliss ink one more time. And you are going to ink up a sentiment for the inside. I don't even know what it says. I gotta I gotta stamp it to read it. Give that a second to soak in. It says, with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. You guys, this is what you call an all-occasion card. You could send this any time of year to pretty much anybody. Well, I don't know. It's a little floral for a guy, unless they're, like, big into gardening and stuff and love flowers. My husband, not so much. There we go. So pretty. Okay, so here it is. Let me put some other ones out that I have completed. So we got the two that I did today. And then we've got some other ones that I had done in advance. Anyway, if you guys want to place an order for anything, you can always, um, I'll have, I'll edit this and have links for you later on today. And oh, I, I'm just trying to make them look pretty. Give me a second here. There we go. Um, otherwise, you can always go to my blog, which is stampingtoshare.com. And, you know, there's there's an um, online link there to my store. 
So you guys have a great day and a great weekend, and I'm pretty sure I'll be back here on Tuesday with another Facebook Live. I love all of you, I appreciate all of you, and I just look forward to these all the time. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.